Hi everybody, welcome to 3D Origami. Today we're going to be doing this cool project, a little duck soon puppy. Woof, woof, woof. All right, so 3D Origami is kind of like making your own Legos. We make these modules, and with the modules, you piece them together, kind of like Legos, so that you can build things. So let's get started on learning how to make our modules. Okay, here we go. First of all, if you don't have a paper cutter, I mean, I like a paper cutter, but if you don't have a paper cutter, I want you to know how to do this. So we're going to start by folding it ourselves. So we're going to fold this piece of paper in half three times and cut it. So fold it in half. Most important thing is making sure the edges line up. Once they line up, set it on, hold it in place, make sure it's a straight line. These corners are touching. Then hold it with your fingers as you crease pulling backward and that'll give you a nice straight line. Take your thumbnail, go across, make sure you can see your line because now we need to cut on our line. So fold it in half, everybody cut. And we're going to do this three times to cut our pieces into the sizes that we need. So then after this, I'm going to fold this in half again. Notice I'm not making it this long slender rectangle, but a nice fat rectangle. Again, I want the edges lined up. Does that look like it's lined up? Not exactly. So I use my fingers to kind of push up against to make sure both edges are touching. Put it down, hold it in place, then come back. Uh oh, look, it's coming apart. Sometimes you have to hold it really good as you pull back making sure that this part stays together. And notice it's not exactly perfect, so I'm gonna just fix that. You see how it's a little bit uneven right there? I'm gonna push it down. Ah, that's better. All right, then we're gonna open it up. I wanna cut both of these into the same size, so I'm gonna line them up, put them together, and cut on the line, making sure that these are lined up. You're gonna have to hold it tight so it doesn't separate. Okay, and then we're going to cut both of these pieces of paper right on the line, making sure they stay together and don't separate. There we go. Okay, I want them to be this size. i got to fold it one more time. Folding it this way, make the fatter rectangle. Line up the edges, crease it, pull it down. I'm going to straighten it up, making sure I can still see the line. Make sure your stack's straight. You can cut the whole stack. Now when you cut, sometimes things want to move, so you have to squeeze it with your fingers to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Find your line. Cut on the line. And now, I have my pieces. All right, now we're gonna make our module. So we're gonna take one of our pieces of paper and we're gonna fold it in half. This time we're folding it the long way, all right? Really important that we line this up, line up our edges best you can. All right, hold it with your fingers, crease down. I usually find if you crease it the middle, then you can go out and that works pretty well. Okay, so we have a nice fold there. Now we're gonna fold it in half again. I usually try to find about the center with my finger and then I pull it down over my finger, makes a nice curve, line up those edges and then we're going to crease. Okay? Now, we're going to take it and hold it so that the folded end is up and the open end is down. And we're just going to lay it down like this. Again, the opens on the bottom. Make sure the opens on the bottom. Fold it at the top. Now, with your finger, just the tip of your finger, like your fingernail, we're going to put it in this corner and hold it down. And then we're going to pull this top flap down so that it touches this corner. So it's kind of like getting close to this line, but it's a slight angle where it touches right at the corner. Don't pass it. Don't miss it by a mile. Pull it up until it touches and then hold it there. And you're going to crease, but just the bottom half. I want to keep this curved just like the modules are open. We're going to keep this part open. Okay, so once I've creased that little bit, I'm going to pick it up 
and just flip it over so it looks like an L. All right, and I'm gonna, again, I don't wanna smush that part. I'm gonna hold this corner so this part stays the way it is. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take this part, line it up down there. I'm gonna pull it down, fold it over, right? So fold it down just like that other corner. You see how it's just like that other one? Line up these edges. Line up the edges are out there. And again, only crease on the bottom half, okay? So now it looks like this. Looks a little bit like a cobra. So we're gonna make it even more like a cobra. I want you to pinch with your thumb and your index finger right there, okay? And then we're gonna squeeze around it. And now look what happens up here at the top. See how it makes that little bit of a fold? That will keep your module open and make building super easy. And then if you look at it at the front, <gasps> there's our cobra. Okay, now that you have your cobra, it doesn't have to be perfect, so don't freak out if it's not a perfect cobra, it's all right. We're gonna face our cobra away, and we're gonna open up our two flaps so that it looks like an arrow. Okay, now you see how it overlaps a little bit? I'm just gonna pull it so it's not quite overlapping as much. It overlaps because of our little cobra on the other side. I'm using my hand right in the middle to hold it. If it overlaps a little bit, that's fine. Okay, notice where I hold it right at this point because I want to keep it together. I'm going to fold this corner up. I'm going to use my thumb and bend it. Now on the other hand, my index finger is going to hold it still. And I'm going to bend it like so and squeeze. You see what I'm doing? Making this triangle here so it makes a point on this side. This allows me to curve this up, and I'm curving it right up against this line here. Curve it up and squeeze it nice and tight so you have a nice point. This is what holds your module together. This one that's built, you can see that bent area right there on the inside. All right, so then I'm just going to roll it around. I'm going to again hold it with my fingers to keep it still. I'm going to fold it with my thumb, use my index finger once I get it lined up and squeeze it. Then I'm going to fold this up so that I have two points. Now, can you guess what I'm going to do next? Fold them together, and if we look, we have that nice opening, which will allow us to connect our modules. All right, we have to do this nine times, and we're going to make a block. Okay, so I'm gonna fold again. Fold it a long ways, try to make it as nice as you can. If it's not perfect, it'll still work, so don't stress out. Then what am I gonna do next? Fold it in half again. And I, I, again, I use my finger kind of to help it to curve correctly. Put it down. I want this edge facing up, opening, facing down. Get the top corner, pull the top flap down, and line it up. Now, you don't want to line it up so that the point touches. You want it to be as straight, you're pulling it down so it passes. And just that point right there touches. See that? So I've passed this line, that's important. Okay, then remember what I do next. Turn it up. Do the same thing on the other side. And I, a lot of the times, you see how I use my index finger to help it curve? You'll start to do this automatically. The more of these you make, it just becomes second nature. Hold the bottom corner, push it down. Look at our cobra. Now we're gonna get that little point to curve a little bit by squeezing this flap right there. Gonna squeeze it. And then, watch what happens as I squeeze around my thumb. It pulls down a little bit. And all I'm doing is I'm squeezing right next to my thumb to make my cobra. Cobra points away. Open it up. Fold the corner. Now you can see it's, it's not perfect, but watch. Once I pull it up, and if it gets stuck on that, I just pull it past. It's still perfect. 
You don't want it to go past this line. If it goes past that line, then you fold it one more time. You go open it up and kind of fix your fold, right? And turn it around, do the other side, fold it down. Again, it's not perfect, but that's totally fine. Watch. I just need to make a nice straight line and point. Then squeeze them together and they're open. Okay, now that we have two, we're going to put these together and we're going to make a stack. So I want them both to be doing the same thing with our cobras up. Cobras up. Now we're going to take the cobra's tail and we're going to put the tail, the two points of the tail, inside the two holes. Okay? Then you're just going to push them together. All right? And you're going to be making a stack like this. And this is important because the stack is what actually opens it up on the bottom. You see how this part is kind of looks a little bit more like that closed cobra. So when you get your nine done, you just take half the stack off, put it back in there, push it down, and then all of them will look like that as you pull them out. So once your nine are done, come back. All right? So you need nine of these. You want me to fold one more with you? All right, while you're folding, I'm just gonna fold along. If you got it, you go for it. If you don't have it quite yet, let's do it again. Fold it in half. Fold it in half again. Increase it. Make sure the fold is up on top, opening on the bottom. Touch the corner, pull it down so that it lines up, crease the bottom. Turn it and flip it up. Hold the point. I'm gonna take this flap, do the same thing. So I'm using my finger to fold it so it touches. Hold it with your finger and crease. Now we're gonna check our cobra. So pinch, thumb and your forefinger, squeeze to make a nice tight cobra. Cobra faces away. Open it up. Turn the corner up with your thumb. You notice I'm not perfect there. They're not perfectly lined up, but I just have to get both of them curved up. And then when I fold it up, it'll stay in place. Turn it around, do the next two, fold it. Now here, I've passed the line. It's not gonna work so good, so I gotta fix it. Don't pass the line. Don't pass this bottom line right there. Bend it over. Make sure it's straight. Fold it. Okay, and we're gonna put it in. Cobra's the same direction. Cobra tail goes in the opening and push it in. Okay, got to do that nine times. Go ahead and pause the video. Okay, now that you got your nine pieces, you need to pull them out. So you probably have a stack that looks something like this. So pull all of them out so that you have your nine pieces on the table. I've already done it. So if you need to pause the video while you do it, go for it. Otherwise, if you're ready, let's do this. We're gonna make our block, okay? When we're done, our block is gonna look like this, and it's with this block that we're going to be able to make our dachshund, okay? We're gonna need a total of 10 of these blocks plus three extra modules of prop the, the darker color, or if you have two colors, you can do this with one color too, it's totally up to you. Um, and you're going to need some smaller pieces, which we'll do at the end. Okay, so here we go. First things first, you're going to take one of your modules and just set it down. Hopefully it stands up. If it doesn't stand up, just use your fingers. Okay? Now, the pattern is going to be one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay? So there's my one. I need to put two on it. So I'm going to take Two different colors for this. Usually your blocks are all going to be the same color. 
um, but I'm using two colors so that you can see how it layers. So this is step one. Now, there's my points, there's my two holes. I want the hole that's closest to go in this side, all right? So this is gonna be this hole right here, going inside. You just slide it over the top and set it down. All right, now you're gonna take your other one, do the same thing on the other side. So I want the hole that's closest, I'm gonna lift it up. You can do it on the table. I'm just lifting it up so you can see. I'm gonna get this in this hole. I don't wanna go in this hole. I wanna go in this hole, all right? And push it down. So I've got my first layer and then my second layer. All right, so I did one, two, the next one's gonna be one. Now, I wanna connect these. It's kinda of like Legos where you go back and forth and back and forth to connect the pieces together. I need to connect this piece and that piece. So I'm gonna squeeze them together and put them inside the hole right there in the middle. See? Then you're gonna press it down. Now, it kinda of looks like a little X-wing fly fighter. Your little spaceship. <laughs> but we're not done. All right, so after we did the one, two, one, now we need two, all right? Again, we want to connect these pieces. I need to connect this piece and this piece. So these two I'm going to squeeze together a little bit, put them inside these two holes, then press it down. Same thing on the other side. I need to connect this piece and this piece into the two holes. So I just kind of squeeze it with my fingers to get them in there and push it down. Then we did two, so what's next? A single. Do I want to come over here, over there, or to connect the middle? You're right, we're going to connect the two in the middle with our single. So we got one, two, one, two, one, two. Our final two, again, we're going to connect these pieces make it one unit connect that and connect that and you have your module okay now gather all of our modules we need to have 10 of these so get your 10 modules and put those aside and while we're gathering those 10 modules i want to show you how to make the little piece Surprisingly enough, it's the same process. I'm just gonna use a smaller piece of paper. Now, how did I make that small piece of paper? I fold one piece in half. Actually, take three pieces, because we need six of these small ones. So take three pieces of paper, fold them in half. Then we're gonna cut on that line. However, I want you to go like this. I want you to do all at the same time, because we need these to be the same size. So I'm gonna go like that. <clears throat> and I'm going to cut off this edge because this is a fat rectangle. You notice it's not the same type of rectangle as this is. So I need to make this look like that. So I'm going to cut off about a little less than a quarter of an inch. Um, for the size, if you use your measuring stick, it's going to, you want it to be about one and seven eighths. So I'm going to cut off that little bit right there, so right about there, and cut it. All right, so now this is a good size for cutting, for our tail pieces. All right, I'm going to fold it in half just like I did before, fold it in half, and I have to do this six times, so if we've got some, if you need to pause and work on it, you can. Fold it in half again, same thing. It might feel a little trickier because it's small, but it's the same process. Make sure it's open at the bottom. Pinch the tip, pull it down, crease just that part. Turn it over to make your L. Fold it down and make it the same. Crease the edge, and you can even fit your little fat fingers in there and do the same thing. Make that little turn across, okay? Then you open up, cobra face and away, fold up. Corners, fold up, corners, squeeze it together, and I have my first module. And you're going to need six of these to make 
the tail. Okay, so we've got our 10 blocks. We've got six small modules and three extra regular size mo uh, modules. Okay, now we're gonna start off, and this is going to be the head, but we're gonna attach the body. Make sure they have the exact same orientation, the covert top up here. Notice there's one, two, three, four spots. Just make sure you have the same orientation. You don't want that. You see how that's different and that's easy to do. So just check to make sure that you have the same orientation. They look exactly the same. Then you're gonna put your four points into the four holes and push it on. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the third. We're going to go in. Now this one is slightly different, okay? What I wanna do on this one, this is what my feet are gonna be attached to. So I'm gonna leave these outer ones outside and I'm only gonna put my two middle ones in, okay? Then I'm gonna take my point into that last module on each side. See that? So make sure it's in. This is where we're going to stick and attach the feet. Okay? So once it's there, you're going to wiggle, 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 and push it in nice and tight. All right? And right there is where I will attach the feet when we get there. Okay? So we're going to alternate colors. Again, you could do the same color if you want. This is just the way I decided to do it and make it easy to see. Now, I wanna go into my four. You notice this isn't as easy to see, but that's because I've already put this together like four times and this was a different piece apparently. But you can still find it, even if it's difficult. I find if you go to the top, you see I can get my four points in and then I can slide down and then you're gonna wiggle, 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 wiggle. Get it in there nice and tight, okay? And we're gonna alternate again. Go into the four holes, one, two, three, four. Making sure it's the same orientation. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 okay? So this is one, two, three, one, two, three. The third one is the one that we're gonna use for the next pair of legs. So it's gonna do the same thing where we're gonna go into these two middle ones and then to this outside. So my two, I'm gonna get those started and let those other ones stay on the outside. I'm gonna find my little spot. Find my little spot, make sure it's in on both sides. Check my orientation. Then wiggle, 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 push it in so it's nice and snug. The snug is important because that's what keeps it together. Okay, then we've got the body done, all right? So now we're going to attach the legs. So I'm gonna attach the legs so that this is my foot, like so. I'm gonna take these two top prongs and I'm gonna slide them into our little leg holder. Squeeze it up in there, gently push so that it stays. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Check it, so make sure that the foot goes forward a little bit. Take these two pieces, squeeze them in there. Now mine, since I've done it a few times, it's a little tentative. If you want this to last longer, you can actually add glue to each of these phases and it'll help to stay on better. Okay, then I'm gonna do the same thing on the back, making sure it's forward my feet in there, push them so they stay. All right, checking that it's the same. Get these two inside that little flap right there. Then press it up so that it stays. And now I have the body done. Okay, next I'm gonna do the nose. Now for the nose, we do have to make one alteration to this module. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up here and I'm gonna open it up here and I'm gonna bend this part, this little tip right here, I'm gonna bend it about to there. 
to the, where this point is. Take this point to where these two cross. And just press it down. This is going to make it look a little bit more like a nose. We're going to round it a bit. Okay. And then when it's done, I'm going to fold it back. So I'm just getting rid of this point. And I want to do the same thing to the other side. All right. So I'm going to open it up. Fold that point down right to about there. Crease it so it stays. Fold it back over. And now that's going to be our little snout right there. Okay. Now, when we put this one on, I'm going to actually change the orientation. I'm not going to put the top of my cobra. I'm going to put my cobra on the bottom and it's going to make it look a little bit like a snout. We're going to need to kind of squeeze these guys together right here. It's kind of squeezing it together because otherwise it could rip this if it's too far apart. Again, I have this flatter part down. My cobra is upside down for this. I'm going to put two in this side and two in the other side. And then I kind of gently work it on. I'm kind of squeezing those together so that it stays. And then that's my snout. Okay. Now we need a couple of ears for the ear. Again, we're going to open up and basically the ear is going to stick in there and I like my head to go down a little bit. So I'm going to bend this up a little bit. Makes it look like it separates from the body. And all you have to do is open the right flap and this becomes your ear. You're going to stick it inside that first little flap there. And there's this little ear and you can kind of bend it and get it where you want it. Do the same thing on the other side. So it helps me to kind of think about the way it looks, right? We got our snake up on the top. This is going to go in. So this side over here is going to open. So it's the left side because this is going to be on the other side, the other ear. I'm going to do the same thing where it goes into that front flap right next to where the eye would probably be. And then you can kind of bend it a little bit to get the shape you want. And now all we have to do is make the tail. Okay, for the tail, we're going to hold it like we did. We're kind of like the way we stacked it when we were building it. Except for when you stack it, don't push it in. Kind of bring it down. Whoops, I missed it. Make sure you go in the holes and then push down. So it's like that. Then we're going to do the same thing, going all the way up. We got our cobra on the top. You kind of come in and ink down. Come in the top and angle down, leaving that sort of a curve. Get your cobra up on the top, push it in and angle down. Push it in the top. Oh, where's my cobra? Give me a little cobra. I can do this. Cobra, yeah. <laughs> the holes, pressing down to make a curve. Then all you do is stick it in the two sections right there, and your dachshund is done. Woof, woof, woof.